Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. We have designed a one page website from scratch with the help of a Figma design. And uh, in the last video, we also added the mobile navigation. So since we have completed the design of our one page website, let's go ahead and publish it online. So we'll be using a service called Netlify to publish our website. So just go to netlify.com and here we can see some information about the website. So Netlify is basically one of the easiest way to host your website online. So just sign up for an account and then log in. Now all your previous websites will be displayed over here. And if you want to add a new website, you just have to drag and drop your site folder over here. So this is our site folder. Let me just add it inside a container folder. So I'll just type main and I'll just drag all this inside the main so now we'll just drag and drop this main folder to netlify and we can see that our site has been deployed so this is how fast you can deploy your site on netlify let's go ahead and open this site We can see everything is working fine. Now the source code of this website will be available in the description below. So you can just check it out. And now let's go ahead and click on domain settings. And uh, here we can go ahead and uh, add a custom domain if you already have a registered domain name. Or you can just go ahead and click on edit site name. And you can edit the subdomain over here. So we'll just type gtwebdesign.netlify.app and click on save. And now let's open this URL. And we can see that our website is being displayed. Now the last thing I will do over here in our website is that we'll make this uh, contact form work. Now with Netlify you have this option of adding contact forms. So whenever someone makes a submission to your contact form, it can be displayed over here in your Netlify dashboard. So let's go to forms and see how it is done. Now here we can see we have a normal form and then we have a button over here with the type of submit. And the only thing we need to add in our form is this keyword called Netlify. So if we add this to our form, then the form will be submitted to Netlify. So let's go to the source code. So we'll go to the contact form and the first thing we need is uh, we need to name the contact form. So we'll type name equals GT form and we'll just remove the action. And the important thing is to add Netlify. And then we need to add names for the input fields as well. So he will type name equals name and name equals email and for the text area we will have name equals message and we'll change the anchor tag to a button so let's type button and for the button we'll have a type of submit Right now let's open this in our browser and see how it looks. We haven't styled the button element. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go to the CSS. And uh, here for a button and button with a class of button and for a button sign we'll type button dot btn dot cyan and we also need to remove the border and also add a cursor of pointer so here we'll type border zero and cursor to pointer and we also need to change the font size so let's change the font size to 16 pixels all right now the button looks all right now let's update the source files in our netlify so we'll go to deploys 
and uh, here we can see it deploys for GT web design. Now to update our site we just have to drag and drop the updated folder over here. So let's uh, drag this right here. And our website was updated. Let's go ahead and uh, refresh our page. Now let's submit this form and see whether we get the details in our Netlify account. And let's click on send message. And we already have this thank you message by Netlify. So let's click on back to our site. And uh, let's go to Netlify and uh, click on forms. And here we can see that we have a submission. If I click on that, we have the name, the email ID and the message. So this is how the forms work in Netlify. Now in the free version of Netlify, you have a limited amount of forms that you can get. But if you're getting more submissions from your website, then you can upgrade your plan. So that's basically it for this video. I hope that you learned how to host a website online. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and the link of the source code will be in the description below. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I will leave the link of the series in the description below. You can watch that. So if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.